we can get even fancier if we bring if statements into it. So the if statements in bash work by the syntax is always the word if, followed by in square back brackets, the test. Um, bash will handle normal tests. I mean, it'll do things like, right? So that would always be false, it would never run. That would always be true, it would run. This would be more interesting if, you know, if my file was a number. Uh, this is also never gonna be true because I have no file called one in this folder, but if my did, that would evaluate to that. More often though, you don't just use equality, you use um, what we call essentially the test conditionals. So if we look real quick at the bash man page. So you can always search a man page by hitting forward slash and then typing in your search terms. So I'm gonna search for the word conditional. Then I can hit again to cycle through the options. Okay. So Bash has this list of conditional expressions. A lot of these are file-centric, and they're really handy. So we're going to actually use one. Um, the dash a file name evaluates to true if whatever you put instead of file exists, right? If the file exists. You can do tests, so you can see if it's a block file or a character file. Those are special kind of files in the file system. We haven't really gotten into them. You can see if it's a directory, that's actually what we're going to do. So we're going to see if we have, we can essentially search for any directories in the current folder. You can also do other things like, um, you can see if it's actually readable, so that helps you like test permissions. I think you can see if it's writable. There's a lot of different things you can do here, yeah. So I can test if it's writable, I can test if it's executable. So this is handy if I wanted to write a script that went through and ran every runnable program in a folder. I would start out what I did, I would use the dash x test to see what's runnable, and then if it's runnable, I would actually call it as a program. Make sense? So let's just returns true. Yes, it returns true or, it returns true or false. Uh, I don't know if it ever prints out the words true or false, but that's effectively inside an if for a while it's either going to evaluate to true or false, and that'll either trigger the F or trigger the while or not. So let's use, uh, we want to use the dash D. So I'm going to go back into this. And if we do, so inside here, we're going to do dash D followed by, very wrong. So this is essentially going to test the file name here, right? So, I mean, this obviously wouldn't work if my file wasn't a file name, but we already set that up right here. So we're gonna look, see if there's a file by this name, and then we're gonna see if it happens to be a directory. Uh, so it's not a file, but it happens to be a directory name. If that's true, then we're gonna echo the word directory after it. If it's not true, we're just gonna echo it directly, right? So we're kind of repeating what we did before. Let me comment out this line. Only now we wanna put dir after the directories. To end an if statement, you always use the by, so that's if in reverse. Uh, so that's how you have to always close your if statement, just like the done closes the do in loops, the by closes the if in ifs. People clear on this? So let's try to run this. Okay, so I run it and I get the same output I got before, which is kind of what we're expecting, because there aren't actually any directories in this folder right now. So let's make a directory, right? And let's try it again. So now we'll see when it gets to the directory, it's recognizing it's a directory and it's printing out that alternate echo line that has the dir after it. So we're printing the directory name followed by that dir that we just saw. Make sense? So I could do the same thing, right? We can test if it's executable. So if I just change this to an x, and then say echo is runnable. And we'll say it's not. All right. So if I do this and I run it, we'll see. Most things in this folder happen to be runnable, right? Obviously, my .c file is not. My output file is in there. Make sense? So I 